<laughs> Excuse me? Is it plant time? What are we looking at here? Oh my goodness. Now, folks, forgive me. I don't know about you, but I have never seen the Dynamo Piranha Plant before. So we're in for a treat with how this matchup goes. In game one, winner's semifinal. Losers gets fourth place. Winner moves on to fight Rockman. We'll see what happens. This should be, uh, should be interesting to see. But man, FD just so aggressive. Not giving Piranha Plant the space that he probably needs to set these things up. Both players kind of just figuring each other out here. And an interesting up special there gets punished by Dynamo's Piranha Plant. I feel like we're seeing a little bit more patience exerted from both of these players than we did in their first set. And Dynamo takes first stock with a sudden up smash, one of Piranha Plant's best kill moves. And suddenly for the first time in a minute, FD is on the back foot in one of these sets. So we'll see if Dynamo can maintain this lead throughout the set, or if FD is gonna cook up something that's gonna give him all the momentum he needs. Again, Dynamo able to exert the stage control. FD with his banana finds the down tilt but doesn't find the aerial to punish. Dynamo is at kill percent and he knows it. Oh, but landing into that banana, into the up smash, doesn't close out the stock. Neither does the second one. This plant is living. Dynamo just getting this extra credit here with the stock lead that he was able to get. Surely that up smash closes out this stock from Dynamo. With even stocks here, the Dynamo is able to build up 57% before this stock. So we'll see if that gives him enough momentum to win this first game. Or if FD, as we've seen several times before, is going to pull out a string to make things close again. Ooh, an interesting shield pressure situation there. Whips on the grab, but is able to retrieve his banana. His dynamo sits back and charges up his side special. It looks like FD is figuring out that if he's able to use the peanut gun, that Piranha Plant isn't able to play from the distance that Dynamo's probably hoping for. The percents are getting closer in margins, but this grab could spell disaster, as Diddy Kong is very much in kill percents right now. So look for Dynamo to try and close it out with a Fatui or another up smash. FD back on stage. Finds another grab and is able to do a hoo-ha from back in the Smash 4 days. Oh, and the banana to the side smash closes out that stock from Dynamo. FD maintains the lead that he's been having all tournament long. We'll see if Dynamo can close out this stock here with this up throw. Not enough. Ooh, but the Patui does it, but fortunately for FD, the rocket does a little bit of work for him. We're in the last stock of game one here. Dynamo suddenly finds the percent lead that he lost just a moment ago. And this match is very close. Surely Dynamo is giving a much, much harder run for FD's money than it was in the first set. And I'll be entirely honest, I was a little bit skeptical of this Piranha Plant choice, but it seems to be working really well for Dynamo and credit to him for being able to pull it out. Again, FD finds the percent lead once again. But Dynamo has stage control. Ooh, and that banana might cost him, but fortunately FD isn't able to get the punish that he was hoping for. FD gets another banana. And Dynamo is approaching kill percents. Piranha Plant is a heavier boy than most people would assume. But of course, FD has been so capable of closing out stocks at various percents. Very tense ending here as FD finds the up smash and takes game one over Dynamo. And folks, credit to Dynamo for being able to bust out the Piranha Plant of all characters against Diddy Kong and able to make the game as close as it's been between the two of them so far here at Battle of Kappa Bar. Now Dynamo has counterpick. 
it looks like he's hovering around town and city right now. I think he thinks he can make it happen on this stage because he was very, very close to making it happen with his Piranha Plant in game one. And I'm curious to see if Dynamo is going to switch characters. Oh, interesting. It looks like FD might actually be switching characters from Diddy Kong to Kazuya. Now, I'm not entirely sure what he sees that I don't, because his Diddy Kong has been tearing it up, but interesting choice here from FD to go Kazuya as Dynamo reverts back to playing Cloud. So we're seeing two very different characters from both of these players, but we are on the same stage here at Game 2. All right, and Dynamo content to hold that shield, have Kazuya come to him, and he's gonna up special to his heart's desire. Ooh, but he finds an electric fist there. Kazuya recovers low, Dynamo not able to quite respond the way that he wants, and suddenly FD is starting to get a little bit more in the stock, and the percent's even up, but Dynamo has limit and a Kazuya offstage. Whiffs on the cross slash, and that might cost him the stock, depending on what happens. FD gains stage control here, and both of these characters are very close to death, it feels like. Kazuya gets rage as he makes his way back on stage. This could be a deciding factor in who takes his first stock. Ooh, and a very interesting interaction. Dynamo not killed off the top there. FD continuing to build up this percent. Curious to see if he's going to go for the down special. Doesn't quite, but he doesn't close it out with that series of jabs. Oh, and that whiff on the side smash. Will, side smash is incredibly costly to Dynamo. As FD takes the first stock in this game. So look for Dynamo to try and use the back airs to close out the stock like he does right there. Not the song and dance of who wants to fight Cloud using up specials. Alright, Cloud has limit. Anything can happen. He gets the neutral special to pop off. Oh, and he finds the down air caught around the corner. And that is a big, big opening there for Dynamo to potentially take this game too. Alright. We're seeing some Kazuya play. But Cloud is able to get the neutral special off of Limit once again. And now is doing a pretty good job of maintaining the ledge there. And of course, the percents are just getting closer and closer, but Dynamo was able to secure that stock lead earlier with that down air. So overall, 62% of extra credit. Is it enough to get Dynamo this game? Oh, but Kazuya finds an opening, and that could be oh so devastating for the recipient of that. Luckily for Dynamo, he's able to escape with only 60% of damage, but folks, this just got close again. All thanks to the power of Kazuya. Oh! And just like that, the lead swings, but Dynamo has limit, so you can't count it out. I'm curious if he's gonna fish for a finishing touch, or how he's gonna close it out. Misses the cross slash there. As FD is looking for an opening here to finish this cloud up. Finds a series of jabs there. Good on Dynamo to be able to recover, but Kazuya gets Rage. And he goes for it. He's able to miss it. Good parry on that uh, projectile there. Ooh, and probably a missed DI opportunity there. FD finds game two in this loser semifinal set. And Dynamo searching for some answers here. The Piranha Plant served him really well against the Diddy Kong. And FD responding with Kazuya probably caught both of these players a little bit off guard. As we move on to game three, same characters as the previous game. Going to be interesting to see how this one unfolds. Alright, an early percent lead here in favor of Dynamo. That gets negated very quickly because Kazuya just has so much force behind every single one of his attacks. Now Dynamo has limit. He's able to get a string of aerials and he's probably looking to finish it up. What's he going to pull out? 
Oh, and he starts to go for Cross Slash, but it gets interrupted by one of Kazuya's attacks. And the reversal ends up costing Dynamo his first stock in Game 3. Things are going a little bit downhill here. Oh, unfortunate for Dynamo not to make it back to ledge there. And it's going to take a miracle for Dynamo to make the reversal happen in this set. As Kazuya served to be a good decision so far. With a little bit of the character warfare we had early on. FD living this flurry of attacks. And Dynamo has limit once again. Unfortunately misses his neutral special. But Kazuya getting as much extra credit as he can. He knows that he has this one in the bag as long as he doesn't choke it. Very, very tense gameplay here. Of course, Dynamo knows that an opening like this could be costly. Oh my goodness. Not quite enough to do it. Dynamo, of course, on his tournament stock here. And again, this is not where you want to be if you're trying to close it out and then mount a comeback in a five game set. Good on Dynamo to close out the stock and get the neutral special with limit. But again, it's going to be a tall order if he wants to close it out against this Kazuya. Special could have been costly, but FD misses the punish there. And Dynamo is able to make it happen here. Are we in comeback season here, folks? Oh my goodness! Kazuya barely makes it back on stage there, and credit to FD for that. But Dynamo gets limit once again. Ooh, and a DBZ here once more. Kazuya is able to recover, and Dynamo closes out the stock with a dash attack. And wow, after Dynamo loses an early stock in this game, suddenly we're even stocks once again. He gets the neutral special with limit, but is that going to close it out? Unfortunately, it is. Ooh, the controller gets unplugged pretty early. Congratulations to FD as he moves on to Losers Finals as he approaches Rockman. And good credit to Dynamo for putting up a hell of a fight against FD. But FD has just been on something else in these sets. Incredible stuff from both players there. So Dynamo finishes up his journey here at Battle of Kava Bar at fourth place. And he took out a flurry of incredibly talented players along the way, including Tangerine, Kingu, JTAB, um, uh, Koryo along the way, Tone, you know, so big credit to Dynamo for having quite the run here at Battle of Kava Bar 2. But FD moves on to face Rockman. And I'm curious to see how this set goes because Rockman has looked pretty indomitable up until that very, very close Game 5 set with Kia Rash. I'm very curious to see what's going on. Hello. You want to hop on? Yeah. I'll do it here. Sweet. Introduce oh. yourself, man. How's it going? I'm good, brother. Hi, everybody. Y'all are listening right now. Thank you all for tuning in to DCG stream of Battle of the Cava number two. My name is Pro. What's your name, homie? Uh, I'm Crump. Crump? Crump. All right, Crump. <laughs> yep. Sorry, I was drinking water there. All right. Good hydration.